Essential Music proudly presents The City Wears a Slouch Hat by Kenneth Patchen with a score for sound orchestra by John Cage. The City Wears a Slouch Hat. Hmm, it's beginning to rain a little. We'll just move back here into this doorway. There, that's better. Honest kid, I didn't mean to say it. You and your apologies, Bowie. How come every time we get to mother, we have to start? Yeah, that's the way it is. La da 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 de da 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 Say buddy, you got something to spare, fella? I ain't eaten since yesterday. Sure. Here. Thanks. Take it down. Say, let's have a look. an old pile of rags in the alley. Can't be too careful around these old buildings. Yeah. Say, that rain is really beginning to come down. I'm going to duck back under this awning. And a dozen oranges. These are more the natives. I want them for juice. Ah, a dozen you say? Yes, and I want a bunch of soap. Stick them up, Jack. They're up. Fork over. Uh, uh here we are. Uh, my wallet, uh, my, my wristwatch. Now don't try anything fancy. I'd soon plug his breed. I bet you would. Here, I, I think that's all. You're a smart fella. We'll be seeing ya. Hey, 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 just a minute. You won't have any use for the cards and the photograph in my wallet. Uh, return them to me, please. Uh, okay. I ain't got no use for them. Here you are. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good night. So long. Hey, hey, uh, who's pick have you got there? Your wife? Maybe your mother? No. Okay, bud. Keep your little secret. It's no secret. It's your picture. What? Say, what you handing me? Here, look for yourself. Jeez. Look, uh, guy, here, take your money. I don't want to get mixed up in nothing like that. Like what? Don't be a fool. I can't stand here all night in the rain talking to you. Good night. But I don't want I can't help what you want. Wind's beginning to go right through me. What I need's a little good cheer. Yes, sir? Nice crowd tonight. Pretty good. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Wait, I'll take my cigarettes out of the coat first. Here's your check, sir. Thank you. Good evening, table. No, uh, I'll just stand here. What do you have tonight? Oh, um, let's see. Give me a bit of that. This, sir? That's right. Go easy on the lemon.
this an owl. That nanny goat couldn't win a race if they put snowshoes on all the other G's. Yeah, well, have it your way. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to a little lady. I can't get much wetter. Huh? I just said I couldn't get much wetter. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Good of you to say so. What are you doing sitting down here in the rain? Oh, just listening to the boats. It's nice, all right. Have you ever been up in an airplane? Yeah, several times. Why? I always wanted to see what things look like from up there. Pretty good, eh? Pretty good. You ever been in Melliburg? Where's Melliburg? I'm not sure. I think it's somewhere along the Dan. Dan? What's the Dan? It's a lake near Blodgett City, up near the border. Well, I hope you get your wish. What wish? To go up in a plane. Yeah, I do too. You ever been in any of them creameries near Melliburg? Yes, I went uh, all through one about, uh, about a week ago. The Johnson boy still work there? Which one? Tom? No, um, Freddie. Freddie quit the day before I went there. Was that a Wednesday? Friday. Hmm. You ever plant any rice? No, I, uh, I never did. Do you see the light in that big apartment house over there? Up about uh, six floors. Sure, I see it. I think I'll go up and answer the phone. I don't care much for her voice. Mister? No, I don't want a paper. Here, give me one. Here. Now, Ed, you know as well as I do that a thing like that can cause a lot of trouble. But I still think it could make something happen. Why, why they were listening? Uh, now that sounds like it might be interesting. We'll see. Now, a dog, maybe, but not a horse. What's the matter with the horse? There ain't nothing the matter with a horse. But if it was a dog, I'd feel a lot better. Okay, okay. You'd feel better, but that horse ain't a dog. Go ahead. Light your own first. Now, what's I to think? Uh, what's I to think? Well, what do you think she thinks? 
There we are in the kitchen playing cards with the neighbors in the front room. It don't make no difference to him. He'll just mosey in and start talking. Uh, what's he say? What's he say? What don't he say? That horse just pops out with the first thing comes in his head. I still think you can make something of it. Why better let people? Oh, well. Yeah, they walk too fast. It might be nice to uh, stroll along the river for a bit. Hello. No, they, they went out to Bill's sisters. Uh, couldn't say exactly, but I don't think you should wait for them to come in. Yeah. Uh, that's right. Y you'd have a rather long wait. You see, the pavement's pretty wet tonight, and their car is going to skid off into a tree. Yep, all of them, even the baby. Well, the car will catch fire. And yes, just ten minutes from now. Now, oh, it doesn't matter how I know. I I'm sorry. Uh, good night. Feels good to get some fresh air again. Look, buddy, you know them three guys back there? Which? Them, back near the candy store. They've been following you ever since you left your house. They have? How do you know? How do you suppose? And why were you following me? I didn't have nothing else to do. Well, maybe they feel the same way. Yeah, but I ain't packing no gun like they are. Okay. Thanks. I'll wait until they come up. Hello, boys. Anything I can do for you? Not a thing. What'd he tell you? Who? What did who tell me? The guy you were just talking to. Oh. Well, he said you three were following me. <laughs> he told you that, eh? Come on, spool. First thing you know, he'll give us a slip. Right. The dirty rat. What's he done to you? If we wanted you to know, Dickie Bird, we'd tell you. Cripes! Out like a light! What the hell? Why'd you hit him? I don't like to be called Dicky Bird. Now pick up your friend and get on your way. Why you? We ought to plug you. You can't very well do that with empty revolvers. Empty? Now how the... Come on, let's get out of here. So long, Pinkins, Sloan, and O'Malley. Wait a minute. How'd you know our names? Are they? Gee, say, that ain't our names. <laughs> Reminds me. Let's walk up and look around in the sky a bit. I wonder what that strange looking creature is over there on that big cloud.
seems to be trying to say something to me. We'd better get back down, I guess. Hello. Hello. Do you mind if I talk to you? Not at all. But perhaps we should uh, get in somewhere out of the rain. There's a lunchroom just across the street. No, I like it here. I don't want to go anywhere where there's light, where people can see me. But why? I'm ugly! It's not fair! Not fair, I tell you! I... Now, come I... now. That <laughs> won't help. Nothing is ever as terrible as we think it is. Your face is uh, scarred? Yes. I can't go on this way. I have nothing to live for now. <laughs> Everything. All of it. Our plans. The life we could have had together. Does he know where you are? No. Well, don't you think that... No, uh... no. He must never know. It would kill him if he knew. But if he loves you... Love? How long do you think his love would last when he saw... When he... Now, when did this happen? <laughs> Four months ago, I was moving a plate glass mirror in my apartment. I, I fell and in. Now, can't the doctors help you? There have been some wonderful developments in surgery during the past few years. No, nothing can be done. Please, please, don't let your cigarette. I see. Now are you satisfied? But why... Do you begin to understand now why I can't go back to him? Why now I can't... why did you lie to me? Why did you tell me your face was scarred, disfigured? I knew it was useless to talk to you! No one can understand! Why, you blind fools! 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 <laughs> That's him! I got him. Mm -hmm. Give us a hand, Sam. Oh, who are you? What, what do you want? My body lies over there. Right down, Sam. Wake the baby. What did I tell you? All right. So what a smart. Okay, bub. Here we are. Get out. Hmm. Here we are.
we are, back where we started from. I wonder what they're doing over there. Keep off. Stand back. You want to get hurt? But what's that for? That machine with all the big gold pipes. It's a Murthogram. Watch. Look what we can make it do. Now listen. There, didn't I tell you? But what use is it? What use is it? Did you ever hear a machine laugh before? No, I suppose not. It's funny what people will do. The great things and the dirty little things. Come live with me and be my love, and we will all the pleasures prove that hills and valleys, dales and fields, or woods and steepy mountain yields. And we will sit upon the rocks and see the shepherds feed their flocks by shallow rivers, to whose falls melodious birds sing madrigals. And I will make thee beds of roses, and a thousand fragrant uh, posies, a cap of flowers, and a, 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 a turtle, embroidered all with leaves of myrtle, a gown made of the finest wool, which from our pretty lambs we pull, fair lined slippers for the cold, with buckles of the purest gold. Come on. Move along there. Come on, get out of here. A belt of straw and ivy buds with coral clasps and amber studs. And if these pleasures may be moved, come live with me and be my love. The shepherd swains shall dance and sing for thy delight each May morning. And if these delights thy mind may move, then live with me and be my love. Hey, say another one. I used to know that one in school. Hey, like a sidewalk. Come on, Death. Be not proud, though some have called thee mighty and dreadful, for thou art not so. For those whom thou thinkst thou dost overthrow, die not, poor death, nor yet canst thou kill me. From rest and sleep, which what thy picture be, much pleasure, then from thee much more must flow, and soonst our best men with thee do go, rest of their bones and souls' delivery. Thou art slave, to fate, chance, kings, and desperate men, and dust with poison, war, and sickness dwell, and poppy or charms can make no sleep as well and better than thy stroke. Why swell'st thou then? One short sleep past, we wake eternally, and death shall be no more. Death, thou shalt die.
I'd like to be off somewhere listening to the ocean right now. Rock there. There. I'll enjoy being alone, sort of tasting the juices of the night. It's nice out here, eh? Huh? What? What, what are you doing out on this rock in the ocean? I live here. You live here? Yeah. Yeah. For a long time now. I got sort of tired of things on the shore. Always the same. Men and women doing the same stupid things over and over. and the noise of the city. Nah, it's good out here. <laughs> Napoleons? Bah! Come on in, girl. Roll them under. Listen to her. Knock them down. Conquests and 
we know about have forgotten. I know exactly what you mean. I think we need more love in the world. More understanding. I want to know you. What you believe. What you feel. What things among all the things you've heard about and known mean something to you. We were not meant to be strangers to each other. If we have the same fears, the same hopes, joy, sorrows. We, we must not be suspicious. We must learn to love one another. If one man fails to believe, then there can be no faith in the world. For all men are finally one man, you, me. We cannot stand apart from each other. I am coming into your house with my hand outstretched. I am your friend. Do not be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> 